Hey guys, this is the city under one roof. If we take a trip 60 miles from Anchorage, Alaska, we will end up in the small town of Whittier. Now most people think of small villages as a handful of shops, maybe some quaint cottages, but what makes Whittier so unique is that almost all of the town's 218 residents live inside a single building. It started out as a mining town during the Alaskan gold rush at the end of the 1800s and into the early 1900s. Now at the time, the only way to access the town was by sea in the Prince William Sound in the Gulf of Alaska. That sounds fancy. The Prince William Sound in the Gulf of Alaska. I don't know what that accent was though. That was... Definitely not Alaska. Despite being so close to Anchorage, Whittier is almost completely isolated by mountains and thus not exactly a super popular destination for settlers. During World War II, however, the US military used Whittier as a base of operations, so they built the Buckner Building, which was touted as the city under one roof. At the time, it was the largest building in Alaska. Not only did this city house around a thousand military personnel and their families, but it was also full of amenities. We're talking a hospital, theater, bowling alley, church, bakery, market, radio station, and even a library. However, the military completely abandoned the base after just seven years, and in 1964, a 9.2 magnitude earthquake caused a massive tsunami that hit Whittier and destroyed most of the complex. However, thankfully, another building had been constructed, the Begic Tower, the Begic, Be Be Begic, Be how do you say that? Begic. Begic, which I guess sounds a little bit better than Begic. It's like, those are ugly syllables. Begic. Someone's name. Bah. Whittier was officially incorporated in 1969, and the tower became condos, which the entire town subsequently moved into. Aside from only a small handful of buildings, like a tiny museum or a boat warehouse, pretty much the entire town of Whittier is self-contained within the one building. Inside, you'll find the fire department, the police department, and the mayor's office are all on the first floor, and they even have a grocery store inside, the cozy corner. Fun fact about that police station, by the way, it's a single room. There's not even like an interrogation room or, I don't know, jail cells. I mean, I guess crime's not that big in Whittier. I guess it really couldn't be with 200 people. I mean, everyone literally knows everyone. Imagine tender. The town school is in a separate building, but it's connected via an underground tunnel, which is nice considering just how much snow you get in Whittier. Basically, all of the town's residents work toward it in some way, whether that's snow removal, working the popular Whittier tunnel, the grocery store, or maybe just working for the town government. However, tourism is also a big business for Whittier. It's a popular port for cruise ships, and because of this, the bed and breakfast on the top floor of the tower is a very popular tourist destination. You know, relatively speaking. Now, if you're not traveling by boat, there's only one way in or out. In World War II, the military constructed a tunnel through the mountains after they feared attacks from Japanese submarines in the Gulf. When it was constructed, only military trains were allowed to use the tunnel, but in 2000, the tunnel was opened up to the public and that made accessing the town so much easier. Well, sort of. At four kilometers long, it is one of the longest single lane tunnels in the world. And when I say single lane, I mean only a single lane. The tunnel is barely wide enough for even a car to get through. As you can imagine, that means that the tunnel gets pretty congested. To manage all that traffic, there is a rigorous schedule. Every 30 minutes, the direction of the traffic changes, but it completely closes at night. Oh yeah, and that single lane tunnel, it's still used by the train, so you better double check that schedule. Thank you so much for watching this episode of This Is. You guys know the drill. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see weekly episodes, ring that notification bell, and always tell Matt how much you love him. He really is a national treasure. <laughs> 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 this is just gonna be the, the the new joke now, just so you guys know. Just every episode. <laughs>